Alright, hello ladies and gents, welcome to another episode of The Walking Dead. I have got the uh, world's uh, runniest nose, so if I mute a lot, that's why. Also, there's a probable chance this won't be out by 8pm tonight, so if you see this later than 8pm, I apologise. I'll try to upload it as fast as I can, but it's not promised. So today, we are continuing The Walking Dead first season. Of course, we're going to episode 4 today. Around every corner. We've had a lot of action thus far. I think the last episode uh, that just there was definitely the most action packed. But I'm hoping it can't get much worse, realistically. Um, I'm not betting on it. But here's hoping we get a bit of a break this episode. Anyway, let's get into it. We'll get a recap of episode three. So, episode four, around every corner. Let's go. Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Oh, yeah, that happened. I'm coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. We should go our own way when we get there. The crew is falling apart. You and I are stronger alone. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Well, there we are. Clementine's been talking to some stranger. And we're in Savannah. That's where we're at. See how we start this one off. Here we go. Oh, me still limping. Oh, yeah, he had his leg hurt, didn't he? Can't I just hold it? What do you think? We've been talking to strangers. Just for a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omi? It's trying to be nice, I His guess. pretty <clears throat> bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the well, there's no boats. Oh, there go the church bells. Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Oh, that's a question. Million dollar question there. there. Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. 
I thought you said that thing didn't work. Uh oh. Hello? Hello? Are you there? What the hell was that? Is someone trying Wait, to the bells us? are stopped. Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Well, that's an issue. That is definitely a problem. Oh shit! God damn it! Run! Follow me! I won't be allowed to have to shoot anyway because I can't shoot in this game. I can't climb. We'll be fine. Go on, Chuck. Give him hell. Oh, shit. Kitty! A little too close. Don't you think? Oh, wow, dear. Ben, please. You dick. Thank God, shot, man. Get the hell out of here. I'll catch up with you. Rod. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. I'll give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? God, Chuck, you give him hell. Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time! We gotta go! Now! I'll be fine! Just go! Right, Chuck, you can take a minute. Where is this? Where are we now? I'll get the door. Good, get in. Oh, you clumsy cunt. Okay, we you can't okay? get in. That's useful, it's a good start. Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work fast. Yell at me. Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Why does Kenny just have to fight with every woman in the group? I saw the Clementine get an update on her state of mind. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. We used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time, we're the cookies. Just stay away from the cage. Oh, she's got a brain, isn't she? inside the house. Let's catch up with Lil Mead and Krista, see how How's the injury I'm all right. is. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. <laughs> I say. Try not to worry. It always looks worse than it really is. Except when it's a bite. Yeah, well, it's not a bite. We're gonna get you fixed up. Just you're lucky it's not a bite, man. I'm on it. 
Lee? Yeah? Thanks. No problem. Reassured them. What's over here? Dirt mound. Looks like something was buried here. There's a dog house. A dog house. So maybe there's a dog at some point. That would be my, uh, that would be my investigation done. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. Well, I don't know, you know. Let's do that. I want to talk to Ben and see yeah. why he left Clem. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's... It's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. I'm gonna go with Kenny, see what he thinks of the door situation, see he's the one working on it. How's it coming? Found a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest. But I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. It was a dog door. No way I'm going to be able to bust through that. No way we're going to force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. Oh, how the fuck do we get in? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked, too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. I say it's quite smart, to be fair. All right, so where's the dog? I have a bad feeling I know where the dog is. Um... <laughs> You guys aren't gonna like this. The dog like was is in there. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. I think we know where the dog is. Making any progress on that door? Alright, let's be dickhead. Um. Dude, you're not gonna break that thing open. All you're gonna do is make a lot of noise we don't need. Then well, what the fuck do we do? Empty. I hate to say this, but I think we need to dig up the dog. Although I don't know how. Oh, oh, okay. Hmm. The shovel is never not useful. This could be an issue. Um, you might want to look away, fellas and ladies, and everyone. I suppose this isn't going to be hey, beautiful. Be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? 
You don't want to know. I mean, it doesn't look good, does it? Whatever it is, it's been here a while. You, I can smell it from here. Gross. Clementine, honey, come sit with me and I'll need. Let Lee work. Let us let me work. I'm literally digging up something that's dead. Not work at all. Do we? Oh, it's the oh dog. God, the smell. Must have belonged to someone. I got a collar. I can't get it off. Okay, that is uh. not cool. Jesus. The dog's head just came off. It's just the smell. Are you sure you? I said I'm fine, okay? Lovely. Desecrated the dog's grave. I don't think that anymore. I'm done digging up dead dogs for today. That's what you think. Can we do the doggy door then? Would that even work? Nothing. Yes! It does. God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. What happened to conversation Are beforehand? You okay? Say something. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'll praise her, but I mean, she should have asked me first. Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. I suppose so, if you want. I mean, Looks better have okay the conversation from here. outside. Everybody in. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you Never. what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? Well... I was going to tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. Oh, like God, I hate having to make it nose to the itchy. What makes you think it's, it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? It's a good How point. How sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not going to wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. 
Except if there's no boats. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you got down here. Make sure you check every door. Understand? Okay. I could be very thorough. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. I should finish checking the house before heading back outside. I just want to get gone. I'm, so, I'm sick of it here. Must have stopped working a while ago. Whoever cleared this place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. But then we'll have a bit. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Oh, uh, I guess we won't be having a bit. Looks expensive. Might have helped us in our search, you know? Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Yep, so it's in there. Hey guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. How's that couch treating you, Omi? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. What do you guys think about this plan at Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. Oh, Lee, don't tempt like fate, mate. That. Really, I would. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. The clown telling me what to do. There's something behind the store, isn't there? Nothing. That was a bathroom. <laughs> I mean, that's useful, I suppose, at least. Not exactly my style. Well, again, Lee, you're not exactly an artist. Well, I, I mean, maybe you are. I don't know. Alright, it's looks like a closet. All clear in here. Just one more to check. A messy fucking cupboard. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while, at least until it quiets down outside. Good, thanks. Is he okay? He's only to sleep. <laughs> yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just some whiskey. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? She probably doesn't know, but... Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. 
I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Uh-oh. Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? Oh, God. It's Kenny. Oh, what's he done? Why is he? Kenny what's he doing up in the attic? He heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there. I can't get him to come down. Stay oh, here. Oh boy. What the fuck's going on up here then? Kenny? What's he doing? Is he worshipping to? Is he praying to someone? Kenny. What's happening? You okay, man? I'm very confused. Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Uh oh. What the hell is what? A window. Oh, oh, ugh. It looks kind of like dark. Jesus Christ. Kind of looks like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I could take care of it. I can't of it. ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Poor kid. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Damn, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Poor kid. Sorry, fella. I'm sorry. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Oh, God. Probably weighs about two pounds, if that. Poor kid. I'm gonna get a drink while this is happening, real quick. Bear with Take him to the grave. Got to drink out my fridge. He'll be with his friend. If the dog is still in there, I don't know if the dog's still in there. Did we take the dog out? No, we didn't. Okay, there's my answer. The boy and his dog. Bless him.
This episode might be the longest one yet. We're half an hour in and it feels like I've not done much of anything. Or at least not much of anything to really progress the story. That was a human. That was a. That was a human. Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee. That definitely what's going wasn't on? a walker. Because it was running. I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Hello, Jimmy? Kenny. I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? Oh, I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I'm with Kenny. The sooner we get the hell out of here, the better. Well, then, hell, what are we waiting for? I'll go get my stuff. Kenny appreciates your no, support. Ben, you'll only slow us down. Lee and I can go scout the river while the rest of you get ready to move out. You stay behind with Krista and Omid. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it. it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? I'm worried about Omid. He's in bad shape. I need you to stay here. Keep an eye on him. He's got Krista for that. If it comes down to it, I can't rely on Krista to do what has to be done. Not with Clementine in the same house. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can count on me. Good. Thank you, Ben. You should get back in the good books now after what happened with the bandits. All right, down to the river we go, I think. What if there is no boats, though? That's the issue. That would be the problem if there ain't any boats. Kenny's laser focused on trying to find one. So I think if there's no boats, then he's going to go mental. But if there are boats, he'll be on the first one out here. He'll leave us behind, probably. <laughs> you think everyone's safe back at the house? Safe as anyone can be these days, I guess. Let's go up my drink real quick. I'll make a fizzing noise, so I don't want it to be too loud. Walkers weren't bad enough. Now we got this crazy motherfucker on the radio stalking us. Won't be a problem once we get out on the water. River's just a few blocks up ahead. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. 
This one's further off. It's a different bell, but it's still over there. a bell. Hold up. Well, unless they smell us. What in the hell is going on? So I'd like to bloody know who's fucking playing games with our lives. I have no idea that someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Oh. Nice one, Kenny. You'll ring their bell. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh, my God. Oh, for... F Can we just... Get a break. There's a boat there. Kenny, man, I don't think so. Maybe we need to come up with a new plan. This is the plan, Lee. This is our best and only shot. You said so yourself back at the house. You agreed with me. Yeah, but that was before we... Well, there is a boat. Um, probably not operational, considering this half of it is in the water. Still be salvageable. Sorry, what? How? How is it salvageable? Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? I suppose, what I'll check what did I do out. to him? Apart from kill his front. kid. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Right, but simple as. Let's go use the scope then. See what we can do. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Damn, built solid. Fuck's sake, right, where the f- Uh-oh. Also, what- Can we take a look a second once we get, like, yeah, I wanna look at this. That's mental. Fuck. What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? Or do something like this. Jesus Christ. Look at him. Jesus Christ, they just stacked up walkers into a barricade. Hold on, yeah. What if I shoot one? Gunfire would just bring more walkers. Oh, yeah, probably, yeah. You know what? Good point, Lee. Good point, well made. Um, now I need to find a quarter. Now, the key question is, will Kenny have a quarter? That's the question. Where is my boy? There he is. Sir, do you have money? You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. Have a look, but I'm not, I'm not hopeful. Um... What am I stuck on? I'm stuck on the plant. Okay. Uh, hmm. Cash register? Might be a move. If there's a cash register, there's probably cash in it. Maybe there's some change in the drawer. Well, I'll take a look then. Beautiful. Empty. Yeah. I would say, yeah, there's not going to be money when you need money, is there? Why would there be money? At least markings, say. AAJ. Hmm. D O F. But what do they mean? Hmm. This is getting spicy, in my opinion. 
go to the middle of the street and see what I can get. Newspaper machine. Marked. Fuck's sake. What if I whack it? Oh. That worked. I bet. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Probably. I'll, I'll be a guess. Gas siphoned, tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. I will go telescope then, I guess. Might as well go have a look at what's going on. Putting the money in the scope. Fuck! And then we'll have Kenny swear what's before I can put the, the money boat? in the scope. It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix huh. it? Even he's shocked at the walker barricade. What the, what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Jesus Christ. If we thought it was bad where we were before. Alright. Down river. Of any boats down there. Where's the boat? Oh, it's not a boat. It's a post. It looks like the top of a boat. Um, can't see any boats. There's a building. Okay. Um, hmm. Plenty of ducks, no boats. Useful that. Not in the warehouse. No way Sunken boat. Sunken. That's probably not helpful. Not one above the water, preferably. Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Huh? What the hell? Get down! Get down! There's a person? Fucking hell, she moves fast, doesn't she? Or he. I fucking don't know. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Alright, so he. Okay, well, that's Could be easy enough. Ringer. How about we go find out? We're not looking for trouble. Come here looking for trouble. Yeah. Come here looking for a boat. Like a way of finding us anyways. Look, this could be the guy from the radio. The one who's been messing with us? If he is, we can put an end to it right now. Okay. Ooh, you head valid. In the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just Why the gun? To this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Yeah, but not need to talk with bullets, do we? So what are we doing? What? I don't know what the plan is here. What if he turns around? All he needs to do is just turn around and I'm fucked. What the? Oh, lovely. Ah. No, stop it. Ah. Stop it. That ain't a guy. Clem? Uh, why is Clem here? <laughs> why is Clem here? Hold on. <laughs> okay, that's not a guy. No offense. You're not from Crawford. Have you been following us? Following you? Mind if I get up? Slowly. No, because you probably attack me. Covid safe. Oh, Lee, don't fall in love. Kenny, don't. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. No, he's with us! Kenny, I had the situation handled. What was the fucking point? Who the hell are you people? We're just looking for a boat, alright? I ask you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No. I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? Well, I mean, by the walk barricades, unless when that's Crawford behind it, I don't know. Shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Ooh, good point. Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. While the rest of the world went to shit around them. But you can't get mad if it works. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. Town leaders got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, justify the protection Crawford gave them. To them, a kid was just another mouth to feed, one that couldn't pull their own weight in return. That's just goddamn wrong. That's sick. It's the way it's happened, unfortunately, Kenny. Whether we like it or not. Knew all this. Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. I mean, she could be lying. <laughs> I doubt it. But yeah, hold on a minute. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Well, Meat started getting really sick. Krista and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. Yeah, another question. Rigging those bills all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us. Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. That's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before <laughs> I mean, you start to wander. It back. makes sense. They are dead. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? I told you my name's Lee. We're just trying to survive, same as you. And the only way we're gonna survive is by getting on a boat and getting the hell out of here. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? 
I thought someone else was trying to keep Since Kenny in line. Any <laughs> boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before. Before what? Before the walkers right. come around. That'd be the gunshot that Kenny fired earlier. Isn't that the, the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Bob, is there a She's just off. <laughs> she see you later, lads. I'm gone. <laughs> just gonna let her go? Hey! You can't just leave us here! Really? Watch! That was too quick no, to pick. Please, I got in picking please time. Don't leave us. Climb might coming useful. Come on, make it fast. Oh, fuck me. Come on, I'm, I'm not going to do that, Kenny, but I appreciate the sentiment. Alright, get me up as well, then. Come on. Oh, go on then, mate. Oh, what the f Okay. Never rely on Kenny to grab you anywhere. Ah, oh, I'm buggered. I'm buggered. Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! Uh, well, that's the only option, I'm afraid. God, can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open. 200 IQ, to be fair. Ah! I'm gone, fam. Oh, okay, that's... That's scary. That's a scary sight. Watch out! Fucking hell. Yeah, that was smart, wasn't it? That's not how you climb down a ladder. You silly Billy. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. All right, Lee, but how exactly, respectfully, do you plan on getting there? Shit. Can we go back up? No going oh, there. Jesus. So you're telling me we have to go through the sewers? Sure about this. Built solid. Can we not take the grates off with the uh ice stupid question real, but can we not take the grates off with the pick work. thing? The ice pick or whatever it's fucking called. I guess we can go down here, that'd be so much easier. So check all avenues. Don't fall, because you've got a history for falling. Just take it slow. Take it easy. Don't fall. Just relax. You'll be fine. Nice. Nice. For once you didn't fall. Very rare. Dead rat. Sewer rat. Walkers must be down here too. Oh lovely, that's a good sign for us. Ain't touching that. Last thing I need is some god awful disease. Well, I mean disease is preferable to death. Well, we can't go that way, so we must go this way. 200 IQ. Who are you? What is that? Is that a, I don't know what the fuck it is. There's a passageway. There's a pipe. A but there's no pipe. thing on it. And as we uh, journey down this side of the sewer. Jeez, oh. If we're going this end. Well, we... We have to go in where the walkers are. Okay. This is a bit of an issue. Can we sneak in before they see us? Oh, lovely. Can you give it a go, I suppose, but I don't think it'll work out. Quick! What is this? Oh my god, you're so slow, mate. Looks like some kind of drainage pipe. 
Well, it does it. Don't turn in that direction. Well, I can't turn it left. So realistically, I've got to turn it right. Hello, feller. Shit. I I've got an idea. It's a bit of a long shot. Can we get out this way? This looks like a weird camera angle. What's up, Lee? Um, wait, so we can break it from the inside but not the outside? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Oh, there we go. 100 strength. Now. Now what? <laughs> Can I put it on here? Would it work if I put it on here? Run! See if I do that. If I turn these on, surely it'll direct them towards over here. Why does it never work left? Oh. I don't know, actually. <laughs> I'll say, oh, righty tighty, lefty loosey, but that doesn't make any sense because right is loosening it. Right. Oh. Oh, no, that's not who I think it is. That better not be who I think it is. Right, well. Move my ass out of the way. Go on, fellas. Close to clear now, right? If there's one zombie lagging behind and I get killed, that right, good. Oh no, it is who I thought it was. Chuck. Chuck. Jesus Christ, his intentions, inte oh, intestines and everything have been ripped out. The last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. God damn it. We can't... We can't get a break in this group. Now how the fuck are we going to distract this hole? Oh. Good communication skills. Oh, you muggle. You absolute muggle. Fuck. Oh, why did I shoot? Oh, I'm such a moron. Oh, fuck off me. Oh, no. I'm in the mud. I'm in the mud. Get out of here. That, no, why does he have the A button as the gun? Get out. Alright, well. Get up. Well, then use the pick. Oh, he's fucked the job. Why is everything locked? What's my here? Why did I go here first? Oh. oh. Get me through. Get me through. I don't know where it goes, but get me through. Where the fallout shelter? Not the best of games, but what can you do? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. What gave it away, Lee? Was it the fucking sign that said fallout shelter on it? These guys are stocked up. Wonder if someone's living down here. Unless it's just left. I don't. Where the fuck do I go? Oh, wait, that was the that was the hole I came through. I was trying to get my count to my death. Hello. Oh Jesus. 
Who's got the guy? Who I. Are you? I, you. I think because they have a gun it's right. at us. It's okay. And we don't have a gun right, at them. Trouble. Neither do we. We'll probably have Which to go calm here. You'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. Don't shoot me, please. I'd like to be alive. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. Who's this woman? Hurt you. Why does she want me dead? You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, uh, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're oh, in wow. remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A it's a good little spot, to be fair. Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? I'll just say walkers. A few of us got boxed in by walkers. I'm not giving the, the plan street. away. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Off I play. This is going to be a risk because I don't know where the fuck I'm going, but I don't the know if you'll want to like take me. Maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help You're a doctor? You? Oh, yeah. If you don't, I'll kill you. <laughs> Look, sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? It's a long story. <laughs> no, she lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. I'll try to be as truthful as I can with these it's guys. all right, Bree. Because they seem like maybe the solution. Him. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Well, we convinced him to come with us. It's not like he's going forever. He's just showing me the way home. And by home, I mean where the fuck we're staying in Savannah. I'm not that heartless that'll kidnap him. Clementine? Clem? I oh, bugger what's going on. Oh, hello. You're here, are you? Molly? Robbing everything. Oh, hey. Not as I think to rob, but. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? What, what, yeah, well... This is Vernon, him, he's a doctor. He helped me get back here... Get the introduction. 
I think you have something that belongs to me. What, the walkie-talkie? Oh, don't give it back. That'd be a useful weapon. Hmm. So is she part of the group now as well? I thought she was just helping them get back and she her off. Thank God you're back. Oh, hello. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. More legend. Big Vern. Go love Big Vern. Jesus Christ, Omid looks worse for wear. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Sure, but if you kill this man, we'll kill you, so just keep an eye out. Clementine. Clementine? Yeah, where is it? Where is Clem? Clementine, you here? Clem? Hello? What are you what? doing? Oh, What's she know, doing now? Just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Yes. Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Is there anything we've missed actually? That's I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. Oh, okay. Well, we've got something else in the mind right now. We'll come back and look at these boxes later. So, what? Downstairs? Wash my hands. You've not got time for hygiene, Lee. Wow, okay, well. And you get caught in a zombie apocalypse and the, the walkers ask Clem? if you've washed your hands. Clementine? It'd be quite embarrassing. Clementine, come out, please. Apparently, oh, we got the whiskey. Okay, we got, we got the whiskey out. Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? My man is drunk. <laughs> what does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened since. Since ever. <laughs> Take it easy. Think you've had enough. To hell with you. Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked. Oh, he's Molly up. said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us. That crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink... <laughs> Ben's considering it. Oh, no, no, it's fine. But it's fine. Probably better asking Ben here, but I want to see what Kenny's drunken response is. Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. Well, no, I'm not going to It's just... got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? It's okay. I'm not mad at you. I just want to know where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, That's risky maneuvers. My back. She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. I just keep threatening Ben with every conversation. 
Clementine? Clementine! Um, I'm not a professional. But she's not out here. Is she in the bushes? No. Not useful. She better not have escaped. There's no shot she's gone out the gate. On her own, right? Where the fuck is she? Well, obviously she's not going to be in the grave. Didn't do the greatest job of uh, the burial there. Is she hiding? I don't know why she'd be hiding in the dog's house, but is she hiding in the dog house? She better not have Oh. Oh, God. Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. Get gone out just in case there's a walker in it. Or don't. Lee, this is your death, mate. Oh, Jesus Christ! Lee! How did Clem get stuck in there? What are you doing in there? What were you doing in there? Exploring? And look! Look what I found! What did you find? What is it? Oh my god! <laughs> what the fucking odds? Does it actually work though? <laughs> That's the question. This was here the whole time? I know, right? There's Kenny, right out of nowhere. He's chopped the drink. Does it actually work though? That's the key. We have to have the boat to actually physically operate. I feel like the boat's going to be broken. There's going to be something up with it. It'll be too easy. Vernon, you better not have murdered him. Key question, Old probably. Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. <laughs> Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? She's got a point. Well, something's not going to be working. You want the good news? Oh, or the bad news. Just give me good news. I guess we'll go bad news first. The bad news is always the best give to get the way first. Out of the way first. Bad news is she's not taking us anywhere. The shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Go back to the motel, I guess. Maybe we should just stay put, reconsider our options. That boat's not going anywhere. We just need some time to figure out a plan. Time's the one thing we don't have. Not while Omid's lying upstairs getting sicker by the minute. We need to do something, and we need to do it now. Plus, I don't like the idea of just sitting around here waiting for whoever's been stalking us on the radio to pay us a visit. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on. Vernon doesn't, Surely we have Vernon to try. doesn't look convinced. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. I mean, don't ask me. I was That's the one who said we should stay here. Well, why is that? Why is this my problem? 
There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. <laughs> oh, what a coincidence. We do, in fact, have a map. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's... Actually, not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. Molly, you're just I've being very negative before, right now. I'm not a fan of it. We just need to think positive here. It. See but I think if, if this plan work works. Together, it? We could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So it's just a team effort. So it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? How do we even know where they store their supplies? I used to watch them from one of the bell towers just outside the perimeter. I've seen them carrying all kinds of stuff into that old Catholic school off the town square. I think they're using it as some kind of supply depot. There's a good chance we'll find what we need in there. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we've got a plan. I mean, wasn't really what I wanted to do personally, but I guess. I'm out voted. Is it going to be dangerous? It's what gonna it makes be more dangerous. sense to be moving rather than have the walkers just come and attack us, to be fair. Crawford. I mean, it probably will be dangerous, but I'm trying to sugarcoat it a little bit. I just don't know. I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, to be honest. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. It's called sacrifice. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? Oh, God. Well, this isn't a make here. Do we want to bring Clem with us? I mean, on one hand, obviously, the place is dangerous for children. If we get caught, we're fucked. But on the other hand, I did say we stick close together so she can come. Fuck okay, it. you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet. Don't know how happy exactly the group will be with it, but that's the plan, there. and they okay. could suck it. I'm gonna go get ready. If they don't like it, it's just a suggested idea in the first place. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's oh, up? God. I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Polly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, it's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Hello. Walking through the gate, yeah? Who the hell is this? 
This is Bree. She can help us. I mean, she did want me dead. Help us how? So I'm I confused, a really. School where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. This is risky Ready? bringing Clem, but... Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Cheers, pal. Well, it's time to go to a robbery. This I personally love robbing people. Right the of All the people who deserve it. It's a bit more fun. Above us. My legs got okay, numb again. People. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? I think everyone knew that, Lee. I don't think it needed to be said. It goes double for you. I am regretting bringing Clementine already. But um Let's go. It might work. Oh we're just oh we're just oh we're just going Oh let's go straight in there. I thought it um okay never mind. I thought it just was right next to the school, I didn't realize it was in the middle of the street. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Kenny brings a fucking sniper up. Alright. Sup, fucker? Oh. Hiya. What the fuck? It's not a guard. It's not a guard. How the fuck did that get in here? Oh boy. Uh, issues have arisen. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Fucking hell, even the. Okay, right. Well, I mean, this isn't even safe then, is it? I was under the impression this place was safe. <laughs> now I really regret bringing Clementine. Fuck! Fuck! Do you think they saw us? I mean, one was looking right at us, but your guess is as good as mine. But multiple. Your answer is glared. What the hell happened I can't speak. here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. She left Clem alone. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. How? How is this good? <laughs> Explain to me. What? How the fuck is this good? Before, everyone at Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. Hey. Trying to look on the bright side here. I agree. So long as we don't let him box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? I reckon we do a head count just to make sure we know, know what we're dealing with. Yeah, Bree's leading the way. I got a bad feeling about this. You're not the only one. Somebody's gonna die, and it's probably gonna be Clem. I'm joking, but 
I do feel like somebody's going to die. This won't be a no casualties mission the way we're going. The way we've been going this whole game. Just keep moving. There's walkers behind each door. Here. What's in here? <laughs> she gets me killed because there's walkers behind this damn door. Looks okay. Everybody right. in. Bree's been wanting me dead since day one, right? At least now we know her name. Figures. It's supposed to be too easy for the door to be unlocked, wouldn't it? Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Hmm. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Fuck if I know, mate. Bree's the one who said she knew around here, like. Here. Oh, plans. Just give me a sec. I guess medicine's the first thought. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Oh. Just makes sense, doesn't it? Has Molly got a secret? Battery as well. Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay. But what if they I'll weren't? I'll run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. This goes flawlessly, of course. It will never... It will never go wrong. In a bit, pals. I don't see how this could go to shit, to be what honest, personally. Me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Yeah, you get to boss him about. Oh, okay. Back before you know it. Apparently that changes the whole situation. <laughs> also, Clem, I remember when you were complaining about that hoodie. Now you're wearing it like it's fucking absolutely fine. Let's take another look. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nursing So we go to the auto shop, the or, I think, right? At the auto shop out through here. Um. Hmm. Fuel's in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. And if we're gonna find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. Breeze I'm just trying to figure out where I'm meant to go here. So we're in the command HQ. Escape. We go around to the left, along, and around to the right and out. Right. I just want to take a look around Nothing here first. Crayons and construction paper. Just to make sure there's nothing that can go wrong in here while we're away. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Creepy. No power, no TV. 
A little bit of catch up on Ben before we go. Is he able to look after hey, Clem? Need any help well, thanks. I got it. Whatever. Just once, I'd like Clem to do something to useful, him. you know? You're plenty useful. Huh. Yeah, right. Seems like all I ever do is get us into trouble. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. All right. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Look, Ben, I really don't have time for this. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it, but it's not now. Not yet. Do it on the boat so he can throw you I overboard. You. I'm gonna get back to this. Alright. Where's Clem? Where's Clem? Looks like Some more quite a system symbols. Crawford's final solution. So it must have been people in Crawford putting those things. Hmm. Very organized. I have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. I've heard the UK is fine. If that helps. Just a bunch of paste. You okay, Clem? Yeah. You don't look it. Desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. I mean, compared to where we're at now. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? <laughs> no homework. Yes. Oh, no. Do you think things will ever be Respectfully, we don't have homes, so... The way they were before? Homework would be a stretch. Nobody knows. I don't think anyone knows the answer to that, Clem. But we bled the out, so in it. They're working on a way to fix this, some kind of cure, maybe. There's just no way to know. I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Alright, I think we've done a good recce of the room. We're gonna go and do what we're meant to do. No, I need to remember which way I'm going here. Jesus Christ, it's got a lot of rules, isn't it? Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. C. Oberson. What name I recognize? The alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? Oh, I'm lo I'm just having a look around before we go down there. Do you want to fuck off? This must be the way to the playground where Bree said the fuel was being stored. I'm just trying to figure out my my bearings. Do you want to give me a minute? Jesus Christ! Not allowed to look around here. Must well, there's the a guy again. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Jesus Christ, have you seen the roof? Fucking hell, trees coming in. More blood. And a handprint. Too bad I don't know the combination to any of these. Just kick it open, fam. Open it the oh. combination. You can't kick it open, fam. So down there would be the nurse's office. What's you up, guys fam? Need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Right. Well, it looks like you can't get in the door, so I was just just making sure. All right, we'll go do our 
part of the deal then. I'm assuming it's down here, isn't it? The auto shop. At least we think it's down here. It might not be down here. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? I fucking Lee's been whispering this whole episode, man. I feel like I can Molly. barely hear him. I'm glad I got some titles on. I don't know what stuff he was saying half the time. Guess I'm not going that way. I guess we got to go this way, innit? Auto shop must be down this way. <laughs> what gave it away? Shit, what the fuck was that? That just shot me up. What was that? I get killed because of that. Damn. Well, we don't get it easy, do we? We'll be shot on sight. Can't really climb over there. Climbing the fence isn't an option. Hmm. Well, unless we get hurt a bit. That's the auto shop. Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. Well, how do we get through? The doors. Hmm. Look at a hole. We can climb up there. Bet. Two hundred IQ. And here's a garage. Must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Booty fall. Let's go in. That's an issue. Yeah. We're not strong enough. Damn tight. What the shit are we meant to do now? <laughs> Better not get too close. Hmm. Is there anything we can use to get in there? Ah! The fuck Label. is that? Where's that come from? Oh, he's mine. Hello. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. I think he's dead. I, um, yeah, I. Yeah, he's. Molly? Yeah, he's. Molly. What? I think he's dead. I'm not a professional. But uh, I've seen enough to know that he's dead. One more. What did, he, what did he do to you? He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Well, I guess you've got to try and fucking <laughs> um, yeah. make sure he's the dead, I suppose. Jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work. I mean, yeah. All right, but oh shit! That fence won't hold by the looks of it. One's glitching through the fence for the love of God. Boo! All right, let's lift this bastard up. Oh, okay, that's an issue. Oh. Was that one still alive? Hmm. Take well, we're a look here around. Now. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Cheers, pal. Uh, right, okay. So there is plenty of things here. Office door. Can we get out? Maybe? It's locked. No Why is here. every door locked? Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. Hmm. No power. 
adds up. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Gee, I wonder what rules. what could cut the hose. Live like this. I'd rather take Maybe I should ask the person outside. with the pick <laughs> that would cut the hose. That blinking must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. Climb up it? I can't reach it up there. Hmm. Could Looks climb on like this fire engine? Had their own semi -trucks. Might not be a fire engine, but... Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. That's an issue. So, can I borrow your pick, please, Smile? Something Once again. Need. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Accurate, to be fair. No, it makes sense. No, it's, it's probably correct. What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. I don't really want the battery, to be honest. I think we came all the way out here for nothing. I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. Cheers, pal. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Uh, I didn't say that. You just heard that. Might be a couple of scratches. Okay. I did it. Whoa, whoa. Oh shit! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. It's still attached to the terminals. It's still attached to the terminals. Touch him then, mate. Got that off. One off. It's off. I was trying to attach him, but it's such a weird Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. I have to. I really feel like it. Move your ass. Alright. Don't tell me twice. <laughs> So what's the issue now? Okay, right. Uh, there's a slight issue of we're stuck. Skyline. It's shut. Shoot it out. That would make sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> Alright, in a bit. Oh, she's she can help me. Stronger than Kenny, at least. Fucking hell. That's as easy. It's as easy as that. <laughs> okay, so now what? <laughs> do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Yes, I do stop complaining when we're in good situations. But this is a dumb situation. Where are you? Okay. Come on. What are you, chicken? Jump. I'm gonna miss this. I'm gonna miss this. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this. <laughs> I can already tell. I think I've got to grab her hand as I jump, but I'm gonna fall to my death. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Thank God. She's actually stronger than Kenny. <laughs> well, we got the battery, but fucking hell, this place is ruined. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? 
Huh? Later. Where are you? Wait, I did. Hey. The battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly, you dick. What the hell is she doing? All right, well, I guess we'll go back to class, right? <laughs> Uh. Oh. The doors won't close all the way. Lee, do something. We got it. Break the door with something. Uh. Oh. All right, sorted for now, anyway. Damn well better. There's so many of them. I guess you guys got the fuel, okay? Otherwise, right? You got the fuel. Yeah. Let's not Hoggers. start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. It's a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. All right. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Imagine she just buggered off with the battery. <laughs> What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? <laughs> Kenny's such a dick. <laughs> You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. What things do we need to take care of? I don't know what we need to do. <laughs> Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without. And you want me shot in the head? No problem. We're all on the same team. How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. That's a good point. We'll go get an update on the medicine because, I mean, Molly's got the battery. We can't do anything about that. Let's check how um, Vernon and Krista are doing. It's quite a big place, but I suppose it is a school, isn't it? So, hope that door holds. 
don't know why it wouldn't. Shell casings. Who the fuck fired him in here? They weren't here before. Oh, we don't have the car. I was just going to try and get him, but we don't have the combination. Shit. That's an issue. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Really? I wouldn't have guessed, mate. I'll take out you first. Hello, fam. I collapsed. I just did collapse. I just collided some zombies. <laughs> Hello. I I I put the gun down. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Smart move, to be fair. Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? This place is too overrun. No, that safe is our best chance. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Not, to, I was just, I wanted to see if there was anything on the bed. I wasn't trying to sleep. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Not working. Phones probably haven't worked in months. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. About Omid. I want a little update on Omid. Omid has, huh? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Okay. Um. But yeah, also what about Molly? Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. Yeah, I mean, probably got her <laughs> nailed on there. She might... Well, she can't do anything with just a battery. I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these. We've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard exactly. That. Exactly. We'll see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Looks like some kind of medical file. Will there be anything in the medical file? Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Hmm. Okay. Ooh. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. What's the Looks printout? Like trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? But uh, the same thing that happened to Looks everything. Like Probably floor. walkers. It's a sonogram. Sonogram. Hey, Krista. Yeah. Are you feeling okay? I think it's probably the best okay? first question we can Why? ask at this current Why are you moment. Asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing up. Oh, you... come on. You just dug up a rotting dog carcass. I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? 
Worry about Omi. We've got to get him these meds. Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're gonna get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure it out. Oh, About but Clem. Right thing bringing Clementine with us. This place isn't exactly safe. Then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omi didn't seem any safer. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but Omid's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with that him... That is not going to happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. You're right. All right, but you relax, love. Look, Lee, I just want to get back to Omid. Just think of the worst case scenario. Mind, all right? Okay. Do your thing. What thing are you doing? You're looking at a safe. Uh, already cleaned out. Bastard, I thought there was something in there. Anything in the drawers? Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Oh, this, I don't think the video will help us, but we'll... Is, it, is the camcorder even working? Will the camcorder work if we put the tape in? Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. What does that mean? No, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. Oh, wow. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Oh, God. That's how bad things got. But he never opened the fucking safe, so we don't know the bloody combo. Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind Awful. of... Awful. Lee, yeah. maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Maybe I should. I don't think there's anything else in here. And you guys are fine, right? We'll go... I guess we'll go try and find the doctor. The best course of action at the moment. There's all the dead walkers we just shot, yeah. Yeah, leaving a trail of bodies in my wake. Hold on. Okay. Isn't that the name of the doctor on that tape? Too bad I don't Yeah. That's what I was thinking, but we can't get it open because we don't know the combination. Useless. Alright. Back we go. But how am I gonna get that? Oh, how am I gonna get through there? Ah, oh, the hut again, right? There's gonna be walkers all over that fucking alley. We only, we only just got out the first time. This is risky business. Should we be doing this? Oh my fu fucking hell! Get off me, dickhead! I was struck a luck that fell. I, I, hmm. I was struck a luck that fell on him anyway. But like, what the fuck? I don't know where that came from. It was off the shelf. And back to suicide alley. Who is this? Was this the con? Excuse me, sir. Yeah. 
This is definitely the guy. Are we sure? Uh, as long as we're sure, we need to make sure we've not killed the wrong doctor. <laughs> Oh, it's the correct doctor, all right. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. In a bit, pussy. All right. Go play this tape. But I'm going to ask Vernon about this code as well, because he'll probably know more than anyone. Right. What the hell is going crazy in here? It's popping off in here. I found another tape. This one's Poggers. dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Oh, Krista, all right. Okay, buy me a drink first. You've got a husband, remember? Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do How the hell does she get pregnant in these conditions anyway? <laughs> it's a real thing. Combination. Oh, God. No. No. So presumably he's dead because of that, I think right? You know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. He was the walker that kind of set us all off, in it, fam. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. You don't have to be strong all the bloody time. The out of here. We're in business. Poggers. Antibiotics, morphine. We we'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. Don't take too long. Hmm. Can we get any more out? Or is... took everything we need. Oh, got everything. Okay. But the sonogram. Hmm. We need to watch the tapes again, do we? Something suspicious afoot. Do we know the combination to that fucking guy's locker? The doctor's locker, because if so, then that might be. Uh, why are we. What? Okay, it's walking the wrong way. Logan. This must have been his locker. Do we know the combo? Apparently so. A video tape? Another tape! We've obviously missed something along the way. Hmm. Have we missed anything else? Right. What's on this tape? Because fuck knows. I pressed the wrong button. No tape inside. I know I fat fingered the wrong button, Lee, right? It's hard having fat fingers. What's on this tape then? Actually, what could be on this tape? 
Listen, as fun as this was, I have to stop what? this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? So were they having... Were they having sex for Molly to get meds? Well, shit. Huh? I'm... I'm so confused. We, I mean, we might as well check around as we go back, but... What? So Molly has a sister. Okay. Figured out that much. Jesus Christ. Ah, Jesus! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Yeah, this is a time for jokes. Here you go. Dude. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. I kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. So I'm guessing her sister's... This is all I have dead. left of her. Fuck. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. It's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Well, it's not Molly ringing the bells because she's standing right in front of us. Where's the hatchet? Whoa, Jesus! Shit. Fucking hell. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, oh my and then God. I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, um. Ben? Where did you get that? I just found That's it. That's where the hat is. It was stuck is. in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Oh, oh, shit! There's a reason that was there, Ben. There's a reason that was there. I am Lee, shoot this fucker! Thanks. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. I didn't want to hit Molly. I kinda just I just kinda relaxed. The fuck if I is shoot going Molly on? there, we're in trouble. They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Get 
This is my fault. All my fault. The hell's no. he babbling about? No. We talked about this. No. Wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. I said save it for after we get out of here. Yeah. Shut the fuck up! Fuck you, Lee! I can't do this anymore! It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger! Katja and Duck, oh, it was all me! It was all me! Oh, no... Wait a minute... What are you saying? It oh, was me who fuck. made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies! I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs! When it got discovered, that's when they attacked! And that's when Duck... Kid, enough! Calm down, man! You little piss -ant. You're fucking dead! You hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got a both fucking killed! Kenny, I said calm the fuck down! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. Yeah, I was gonna this say. This asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did? He's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave it. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Um, sure. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> oh, fuck. Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on. <laughs> You are pissing her out. She would have died. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Right, let's go. Ah! Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! Yeah, yeah extra firearms always useful. <laughs> Don't give me it! I can't hit for shit! Jesus Christ, that's got a kick back and a half. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I shot. I shot the gun! Did I. Did I not just. Did I not just shoot the guy? No? I'm making sure, I'm making sure I can't get fucking killed this time. Bruv, I shot the guy. Oh, man. Thank you, Krista. This is a fucking disaster, though. Get out of my way, pussy. 
Get out of my way, idiot. You can fuck off. You can fuck off. And you can fuck off. Okay. Bye. Come on! Jesus Christ, ignore the fact that I died right. once, Clem. I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> Any way out of here? But like, I shot the guy! This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We yeah. did, yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! I love Vernon. Vernon going first before Clementine. Wow. Shaking my head. Come on, lads. Come on let's go! Uh oh. There go the bells again. Ah! No! Oh shit! I've got you! Climb up! Come on, you can do it! There's no time! You have to go! Now! Quit fucking around, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here! Lee! I know your feelings on Ben. Oh fuck, we're gonna have to make it. Oh fuck, we're gonna have to leave Ben behind, don't we? We both know. Let me go. Never. I'm not having anyone else die. Talk about it later, mate. Just get out of here. Wow, what a journey. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Oh, no. Oh, we're too late. Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. We're too late. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Christy, get Fuck away from man. me. Oh, for Christ. Christ in hell. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You dickhead, I thought you were dead. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? I don't anyone else dying. Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Have you forgotten about Bree dying, yeah? Vernon seems to have. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Sure. What do you want to talk about, Blood? We'll apologize about Bree because, like, it was us that kind of got her to that sitch. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. Cheers, pal. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her, but this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind what's of What's the offer? I'm skeptical. I'll take her off your hands, 
take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about some things. He's got a good offer, but... You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best Obviously, as so we don't want to lose Clementine, really, do we? Rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. He's hitting us with a lot of realness. Okay. You do. A lot of sense. somewhere yeah I'm about to head out I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything it's been fun you not staying with us so that's it after all we've been through you you're just gonna leave yeah I figured you don't owe me anything I got what I wanted in Crawford and I never did like the water where will you go I don't know I'll figure it out when I get there. What do you want me to tell the others? Tell them whatever you want. I'm not real big on goodbyes. Tell Clementine she's going to be okay. You've got a good one there. She reminds me of me. What a pain in the ass. So I can't lie, Molly. You've been a bit of a pain in the ass this episode. He's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Somewhere. Uh -huh. Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. He's been through a lot, Clem. He's just gotten a little overwhelmed. I'm trying to protect Ben as best I can because I don't want anyone else dying, but obviously you can't condone what he did. Do we have time to look for my parents? I'm trying to be nice I'm about it. Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. I thought it was the wisest move, leaving her with the walkie-talkie, but... We're still in the room as well. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna say. Mm. <sighs> Clementine? Oh boy! Uh... Where Clementine? is Clem? <laughs> Clementine? Clementine! Did we check all the rooms? Oh, God. Oh, bugger. She's not run off, has she?
Is that the walkie-talkie? Why would she leave the walkie-talkie behind? Jesus! Bloody hell! This game can't keep doing this to me, man. Jesus. Oh, f oh. shit. No. 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 Fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee! Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? I'm just going to show him. Better to be honest, isn't it? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. She's not Who stupid. Took her? I don't know. Fern and Prolly. Offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Well, I can't really do it alone with the bike, can I? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. Thank you. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. We're all going, aren't we? Oh. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. Fucking legend. What absolute legend. Thank you, Kenny. How about you, Ben? Now, hold on a minute. You're not really thinking about bringing him with us, are you? Ben, I'm sorry, but I need Kenny on this. Maybe you should stay with the boat. Okay, sure. Just don't fucking lay a finger on it, you hear? Okay, I'm sorry, Ben, guys, but... Go find Vernon. See if <laughs> It's probably safer if you don't come, lad. Are we okay just leaving the boat like this? With only Ben to look after it? What choice do we have? If anything has happened to that boat when I get back, I will fucking bury you in that backyard. Are we clear? It's a reasonable reaction after everything, to be fair. So what- where do- where- I guess we're gonna go look for Clem. Where the fuck is she gone? And also, we're bitten now. What the fuck happens next? Are we gonna pay a visit to Vernon? I mean, realistically, it's gonna be him, innit? Oh, it is. He's left everything. All the people have left as well. You dick. You dick. They? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. No, they said they didn't fuck around. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Not professional, but I think they've scarpered. <sighs> I can't believe we got bitten, man. Oh, God. 
above ground. It's not looking. It's not looking good, bruv. Oh, Clementine, are you all right? Where are you, Vernon? You son of a bitch. Ah. Uh. It's not Vernon. Oh, Who God. Is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. Then you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. That's where it ends. Are you shitting me? Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. The boy in the attic. Did you kill the boy in the attic? You and 73% of players killed him. Hippocratic oath. Did you lie to or threaten Vernon? You and 50%, 57% of players are rational and honest. Home alone. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? You and 47% of players brought her. Probably shouldn't have done, but we did. Realistically, she didn't do much, to be honest. Except for save Molly, which, I mean, I probably ended up shooting Molly. Because my aim is awful. For whom the bell tolls, did you let Ben fall to his death? You and 45% of players pulled him up. Yes, I feel like he is still needing protecting from Kenny, especially now, as much as the walkers. As much as I don't like what he did... I don't want to see anyone else die. Did you reveal your bite to the group? The, you and 80% of players showed the bite. It's best to stay honest, I think. It's best to just keep moving and hopefully not let it affect us. Who came with you? 13% of players have Omid, Kenny and Krista coming with us. 10% of players is just me and Ben. 12% of players is me, Kenny, and Ben. How the fuck does that happen? I want to know how that happens. 16% uh, of players has the whole gang. 11% uh, of players just has Omid and Krista. 14% of players have Omid, Ben, and Krista. I can't believe 14% of players... I can't believe there's more players with Ben than there is with Kenny. 18% is just me and Kenny, which is the most, po uh, most popular option. And then 6% is me... Going solo. But that is where we end today's episode of The Walking Dead, the complete first season. It looks like the last episode is going to be one hell of a finale. Clementine's been kidnapped. We know it's by the guy on the walkie-talkie, but we don't know who he is, where he is, or what he wants. Not to mention the fact that we're now bitten. Really doesn't help either. So I don't know what's to, I don't know what's to come in this final episode. But what I do know. It's going to be something. It's going to definitely be something. The only problem is... I don't know when I'm going to be able to do it. Because, obviously, tomorrow... Career mode again. Kicking off Season 2 of the Manchester United Career mode save. Wednesday, I'm out... Pretty much all day. Uh, I'm going up the road for a little while for the day. Thursday, again, I'll be career mode. Uh, because we try to keep that every other day and I want to try and keep that as long as I can and we've done so well so far I don't want to let it go just yet so it will at the very least be Friday before we do uh, episode 5 but it is coming I promise you I, I said I'll finish these games I'll finish this game I'll finish the next game I'll finish all the games and I'm sticking to that because I want to, I mean, it probably looks better on Series X, and the graphics probably look better now than they did back in the day when I streamed this. 
So I want to try and get through it all. And I want to... I want to complete it, obviously. So next episode... I forgot the name of it already. <laughs> so I'll just check. Episode 5 will be no time left. And it just shows Clem with some hands coming out of the ground. So I hope we can find her. And I hope we can be successful in, of course, surviving. We've got Omid, Krista and Kenny to accompany us because we are bitten. So it should be one hell of an episode. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys have enjoyed episode 4 around every corner of The Walking Dead, the complete first season. I will see you tomorrow for some Magic Night Career Mobile. We kick off season 2, of course. And then down the line, probably Friday, we will finish off the main story of The Walking Dead. Of course, there is a, D a DLC episode as well. That will probably be Sunday, but it doesn't tie in really to the main story. So we'll see when that happens. But ladies and gentlemen, like I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you later.